Titus, number 13, Jacob Rosette, number 9, Bailey Callaghan, number 4, Joseph Cusick, number 21, Zachary Peterson, number 8, Lachlan Middleton, number 5, Eloithu Nakomo, number 10, Tiago Quinto, number 6, Dylan Rose, number 3, Tyler Williams, Number 40, Alexander Zavadinos. Substitutions for Sydney FC, number 11, Marin France. Number 33, Samuel Lancaster. Number, 20, uh, number 2, Noah Mackey. Number 14, Jared Middleton. Number 17, Ayuk Mo. And number 30, Sean Suzuki. Sydney FC, coached by the maestro, Jimmy Van Weeren. Match officials for this evening, your referee is Mustafa Noel Ebrahimi. Welcome to Illington Sports Centre for round six of the NPL men's New South Wales competition. It's the Sydney Academy Derby here this evening in beautiful conditions in this part of 
New South Wales. The Sydney FC host the Western Sydney Wanderers. A game where both teams have started the season in, well, I guess you could say fine fashion. Both teams propping up the top half of the table. They'll be happy with the way their campaigns have kicked off. We'll go through the lineups for you for Jimmy Van Weerens. Sydney FC in goals, number 40, Alex Zavadinos. Number three, Tyler Williams. Number four, Joseph Cholosic. Number five, Meliwethu Nkomo. Number six, Dylan Rose. Number eight, Lachlan Middleton. Number nine, Bailey Callahan. Number 10, Tiago Quintal. Number 13, Jacob Brazet. Number 21, Zachary De Jesus. And number 28, Nathan Amanatidis. For the Western Sydney Wanderers, well, Andrew Christensen's been forced into a few changes with a few players having to back up for the senior A-League team, most notably Nathaniel Blair, last week's hat-trick hero. He will be unavailable for Christensen's side this evening. In goals, number one, Tiger Harper. Number four, Donny Grdic. Number seven, Marcus Yunus. Number 11, Adam Bulgaria. Number 13, Aidan Hammond. Number 14, Zach Sapsford. Number 16, Roman Trulina. Number 22, Jesse Cameron. Number 23, Marcus Fernandez. Number 25, Riley Hollingdale. And number 99, Ryan Devine. Trulina also coming into the squad in place of Nathan Barry, who's also travelled with the senior team to Perth for their A-League clash. Sydney FC's supporter group, the Cove, in full voice and decent numbers this evening as well for them. About 30 or 40 or so of them making sure they make some noise and support their team to what they hope will be a derby victory. Now look for a repeat in the A-League game the other day where they really did dismantle the Western Sydney Wanderers. Well, they haven't been the only ones that did that in the last couple of weeks, have they? Senior A-League team of the Western Sydney Wanderers conceding a lot of goals in the last seven games and really struggling to get their season going at this important part where playoffs are around the corner. Not so much the same issues for the academy team for Western Sydney. Well, they're in fourth place on the competition ladder. Just the one loss this season coming against Rockdale. That one a couple weeks ago. Just the one loss, fourth place. Three victories and a game in hand. So a very good season for Christensen's team so far. Started slightly better than their opponents this evening. Sydney two wins, two defeats and a draw in their first five games. A tough week for them last week as well. They played on Saturday and again on Tuesday and had to back up only a couple, sorry, on Wednesday and had to back up only a couple days later against the Central Coast Mariners and they came away with a convincing 4-1 win there. And here they are on the attack early. Amanatidis unable to find a teammate in the area. And you will perhaps notice, well, Andrew Christensen definitely has got the bomber jacket out. I know we're still in mid-March, but it is quite chilly here today. As I said, perfect football conditions, but a little cold for the coaches. Well, Aiden Hammond here breaks in. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Hammond off the bar. I think that crossed the line. It won't matter because Marcus Yunus heads it in to give the Western Sydney Wanderers the lead inside three minutes. It was a great run from Hammond, who was dangerous all the last week but couldn't find the score sheet. This week, I'm pretty certain the first effort went over the line. Marcus Yunus arriving to make sure his header beat Zavardinos in the Sydney FC goal. 
perfect start for Christensen's team. As I said, missing Nathaniel Blair, who's scored most of their goals this year, on six already for the campaign. And now Eunice putting the pressure on, confidence from the goal. Ball switched by Nkomo. But straight to Tiger Harper. And the perfect start for Western Sydney in this derby. Great ball from Harper to find Hammond. And the ball played forward toward Zach Sapsford, but the flag's been raised here on the near side. Sydney FC will be given an opportunity to regroup, but it was some ball over the top for Hammond. Sydney FC really at sixes and sevens at the back. Very unorganised and out of shape and taking complete advantage of by Hammond. And then later, Marcus Eunice, who really looks up for this Eunice. Having a bit of a push around there as well with Nkomo. Real derby delight in the air. I'm sure we'll see some huge challenges this evening. Sapsud gets the ball in toward Eunice, but Zavardinos off his line quickly. You'd expect some big challenges. You'd expect a bit of a push and shove to occur somewhere. It is a derby at the end of the day. And Western Sydney really do look up for this one. It is worth noting, though, Sydney FC has started slow in almost all their games this season. St. George FC took advantage. A good early start there. Sydney had to come from behind, and they could only manage a late consolation in the end. I lost that one too. When they started slow against Hills United as well, and they were down two goals before they began some sort of a response. So again, another game where Jimmy Van Weeren's team has taken a little bit of time to get going, and they haven't got going yet. It's Western Sydney that's off to the races inside the first three minutes. And they just look more up for it at the moment. The visiting side is Hammond driving forward, sprays it to the left, cross block there for Devine. Devine coming into the squad in place of Anthony Pentazopoulos, who I thought had a decent game last week. But Ryan Devine comes in in his place. Pentazopoulos on the bench for the moment. Here's Middleton. Rose plays it forward, but almost intercepted in midfield. And across comes Jesse Cameron to clear away. I'll come back again here. Sydney, Quintal for Nkomo. Early cross by Nkomo, well defended by Chulina. He's Sapsford. Again, Sapsford, former Sydney FC player, of course. Zachary Sapsford and some ball here for Hammond, who's in again on goal. Aiden Hammond, what a save from Zavardinos. Fabulous save from the FC keeper. Used his feet there in the end. And Hammond really should have made it 2-0. It looked as though the ball had got stuck in between his legs on his way to the goal. And it perhaps put him off somewhat. In the end, Zavardinos with a very good save. It's two opportunities inside the first eight minutes for Western Sydney. One taken advantage of, the other not. Golden chances, really. He's in Como, who only moments ago had the opportunity at the other end to find a teammate in the box. Didn't do so. Western Sydney went the other way and, well, should have doubled their advantage. 
Here's Amanatidis. Goes down after the challenge from Eunice. Free kick to Sydney FC. Seems to be an issue here for Quintal, who's been asked to leave the pitch for the moment. Maybe some claret, perhaps. Or maybe his... Well, I can't say his socks are showing underneath, but that's an issue because a lot of the players are wearing white grip socks underneath their sky blue playing socks. Ball comes in from Quintal. Zamanatidi, sorry, that came off, not Quintal. Ball out wide by Chalusic. Good challenge from Ryan Devine. Quintal had his first taste of senior football sitting on the bench for Sydney FC last week. In the 1-1 draw against Brisbane Raw. Unfortunately for him, didn't get to come on and debut for the senior A-League team. Sydney FC is in some fantastic form at the moment as well. Amanatidis, of course, came off the bench in the Sydney Derby as well in the A-League. Short corner taken, taken well. Chance comes and just over the bar. Sydney's first real chance of the game. And just as we were speaking about him, Nathan Amanatidis goes very close to equalising for the home team. And well... Drilled short corner. Caught the Western Sydney Wanderers unawares. And Amanatidis almost making them pay with the outside of the foot. But he's Hammond again. He's broken through once more. He created problems like this last week as well. This time the defence up to the task. Eunice back heel there but didn't come off as he would have liked. And Amanatidis, sorry, Hammond last week was very, very dangerous Against the Spirit defenders, they struggled to contain him. He couldn't find the goal, as I said earlier, but he was most definitely one of Western Sydney's best players last week. The one we haven't seen much of so far is Adam Bulgaria. Bulgaria came off the bench. He's the one that kick-started the late flurry of goals for Western Sydney against Spirit. Very lively, very quick Harper there almost getting caught in possession by Rose. And giving it away here, Western Sydney. Here's Brezet. He loses out to Hammond. Eunice was the target there, but and Como in the right position. Headed on now. Hollingdale sprays it wide. In possession again. And Bulgaria goes down and wins the foul. Middleton in too much force, says the man in the middle. Hammond almost played that pass forward for Devine, who made a fantastic run. Here's Chulina. Well, it gives the ball away, and now Sydney can potentially break here and cause some damage. The options there, the goal's there. Fantastic finish from Thiago Quintal. Cut in on the left, let fly, and Tiger Harper could do nothing there to the delight of the Sydney FC fans. So quick there. To cut on to the left and then let fly. It was all the miscued pass, though, from Roman Chulina that allowed Sydney FC to pinch the ball in midfield. 
And then Quintal made the Wanderers pay. 1-1 one, one here after 13 minutes. Quite the derby already. And Como goes in hard there on Eunice. Letting him know as well. Eunice and Como. One battle to most definitely watch this evening. He's Grdic. Cameron plays a forward for Eunice. Who didn't want to take the touch. Instead flicked the ball out and gave it away. Great work there by Bulgaria. And now Hollingdale. Rose there with him for company. As I said, the pushing and shoving is beginning. Tempers slowly rising as well. You can feel a bit of tension in the air. Making for an exciting derby. Two goals inside the first quarter of an hour. It's exciting enough. Ball forward, Rose intercepts. Spread out wide there by Middleton. And now the reverse pass for Amanatidis. Amanatidis one-on-one -on -one here with Cameron. Still Amanatidis. Crosses it in. Opportunity is still there for Sydney. Quintal. Cleared away by Cameron. Here's Encomo with the throw. Amanatidi is under pressure from Eunice, and Eunice does well. Sapsford now, but great recovery run there from Nathan Amanatidis. Here's Bulgaria. Slips it forward. Sapsford rides one challenge. Now look to play it out wide for Hammond, but intercepted. Here's the Jesus. The Jesus going forward, crossing into the box. Quintal again. And somehow there, Donny Goodrich got his head onto the end of that ball. Sent forward. Anywhere will do from Chulina not taking any chances like last time. Clears it well away from the danger. Sydney FC with the opportunity to regroup now. Ball sent forward here toward Callahan. Hollingdale. Fernandez. And Western Sydney play out of trouble there. Now Hammond driving forward, plays it through for Sapsford, but the flag's been raised. It was very close. Sydney FC fans letting Sapsford know. Former FC player. Coming up against his ex-team. Turning midfield there by Middleton. Spreads it out wide for Amanatidis, who's one-on-one -on -one now with Cameron. Amanatidis drives forward. Great ball by Amanatidis. Quintal still there for him. And Tiger Harper stood tall and made sure he made it difficult for Quintal, who may be disappointed he didn't do better in that situation. But how about the pass from Amanatidis? Western Sydney making sure that they've got two players now for the corner. Corner comes in, headed away. Still dangerous. Edge of the area stuff here. And Chalusic couldn't get the shot away as he would have liked. Williams for Rose. Strong challenge there by Hammond. Free kick for Sydney FC.
Another opportunity now for Sydney to put the visitors under a little bit of pressure. And Como goes forward for this one. Touch short. Into the area. Hollingdale clears away. Comes back again. Quintal looking to get onto that left foot. Western Sydney dealt with that well. Central pass. Flicked out wide. Now come forward once more, Sydney. Definitely growing in confidence. The Sky Blues. And Tulina clears away. Intercepted there by Devine. De Jesus plays it forward, but closed down again. <coughs> and Callahan. Taken away by Hammond, who loves to drive forward. Three sky blue jerseys around him. Referee tells him to get up. Vine heads away. Rose and the foul goes the way of the visitors. Taken short. Chulina under pressure again. This time gets the pass away. Pass was intended for Bulgaria, but roll into the hands of Zavardinos. Who sends it long. Devine is under this one. Just dealt with it in the end. Hollingdale puts Grdic under a bit of pressure. Amanatidis was arriving. The flag's been raised as the ball was cleared away. Well, the slow starting Sydney has most definitely improved as the first half has gone on but they've given it away there commentators curse as Yunus drives forward Marcus Yunus goes down on the edge of the area just outside the box it'll be a yellow card to Rose as well I think it is it's a bad challenge from Dylan Rose but some run from Marcus Yunus and it gives Western Sydney the perfect opportunity to retake the lead not much placement can go into these ones, I don't think. It's got to be a more powerful effort. Generally, when the ball is this close to the edge of the box, it's a tough set piece to get up and over the wall and on target in time. Sapsford. Trying to be a nuisance in front of the goalkeeper. Zavardinos sets up his wall. Hollingdale and Yunus both stand over this one. I think it'll be Yunus who'll try to whip this one around the wall. Yunus goes for the far post. That was unexpected. It's still alive though. And in the end, cleared away. It was Hammond making trouble in the area. Some free kick from Marcus Yunus, but the save from Zavardinos was fantastic. Some less expected side that you would have seen Yunus go for and really force Zavardinos to make an excellent save to keep the scores level for the moment. Harper sends it forward. Yeah. 
Throw in for Sydney FC. Deep inside their own half. Come again, the visitors. There was half shots for a foul on Fernandez. Referee waves them away. Throw in to Western Sydney and Hollingsdale closed down. And now Sydney can break. And Como on the run here has got a lot of space in front of him. Great touch from Amanatidis, but Eunice gets back and does his defensive duties. He's Hollingdale again. Eunice with now space in front with Encomo out of position. Look, Amanatidis getting back and helping out. It was his pressure on Eunice that made it a tough ball to deliver. And Hollingdale may get a yellow here. And escapes one. Very lucky. Jimmy Van Weeren asking the question as well of the fourth official. Zavardinos sends it long. Headed on by De Jesus. Throwing to Sydney FC. Both teams' benches are warming up. And Sapsford looked to be fouled there, but continues on. Still in possession as well is Zach Sapsford. Good strength there by him. Throw in to Western Sydney. On the bench for Sydney FC, Noah Matthew, Marin France, Jared Middleton, Ayuk Mo. Samuel Lancaster and Sean Suzuki. For Western Sydney, Anthony Pantazopoulos, Awan Luwal, Anthony Barbic, Marcus Petrovsky, Rashawn Tafunai and Philip Gigliotti. forward by Cameron's a good one if Eunice is onside the flag stays down Eunice to the byline up against Nkomo again Eunice delivers toward the far post header kept alive Sapsford off the bar it's still there for Bulgaria and they only get a corner from that but what an opportunity Hayden Hammond heading it back towards Zach Sapsford who sees his shot come off the crossbar and somehow, in the end, Sydney clear their lines, but they'll have to deal with the corner here. Chulina has gone forward, as has Donny Grdic. And it's toward Grdic, but well held there by Zavardinos. Cholusic, now Amanatidis, no options though in front, he's got to go on his own here, one on one, cross goal, and last touch comes off, Donny Grdic, an own goal, and Sydney FC take the lead here, Illinden Sports Centre, Nathan Amanatidis doing the hard work down the left, Crossing in and Grdic getting the unfortunate touch. And Sydney take the lead for the first time in this match. Interestingly enough, the Central Coast Mariners scored two own goals last weekend. 
Melbourne Sydney romp to a 4-1 win. Also on that occasion, Sydney was down 1-0. Seems as though Sydney, I guess, need to be behind before they start to play. But they could have been two more down, really, had Western Sydney taken their opportunities. They missed a good chance via Hammond and then hit the bar through Zachary Sapsford. Sent forward to Otamanatidis. Falls into the path of Callahan. Struggled to get the ball out of his feet there. Has now. Here's Quintal. Looking to get onto that left again. Plays it out wide to Amanatidis. Great ball. Amanatidis now. One on one. Goes down. And there wasn't enough contact there from Cameron. I think he's very lucky not to get a card as well, Amanatidis. But there was just enough contact I'd say for him to warrant not getting put into the referee's notebook but it's been a good derby so far three goals inside half an hour Manatidis has stayed down and he's receiving attention. As I said, it didn't look like there was much in that, but he stayed down, so you hope it's not something more serious. Well, while while Amanatidis received some attention, it was Eunice who gave Western Sydney the lead after only three minutes. Thiago Quintal equalised about ten minutes later. And an own goal by Donny Grdic just before the half hour mark. As Sydney FC in front here As at Illinois Sports Centre. Up, looking for options. Is it wide to Ryan Devine? Devine continues his run, for, his run forward, but the pass wasn't paid by Hammond. Sapsford just gets there and saw Zavardinos off his line, but the Sydney keeper comfortable with the take in the end. Foul, says the referee. Spread out wide for Callahan here. And Como looking to make the overlapping run. He does now. Still Callahan. Well defended by Western Sydney in the end. Eunice now. It's a heavy challenge from behind by Lachlan Middleton. Taken early and Hammond's in now. De Jesus slows him down. Still Aiden Hammond looking for the space for the shot. Looked to go the long way around, but well defended by De Jesus. Has to combat that pace of Aiden Hammond, and he has so far. He's matched him. Every time he's had to start level with him, he's kept up. That's when Hammond's got that head start. He's obviously got a little bit too far in front. Quintal, still there for him, but Grdic this time. And again, look at the space that opens up in the middle of the defence, and it has once more as Sapsford bears down on goal. Still Sapsford, great save once more from Zavardinos. Second time this evening he's come up with a fabulous save. Sends this one long. Flicked on, but only as far as Hollingdale. Great challenge. Rose. Late tackle there by Bulgaria. He's lucky to get away with no yellow card there. The poor challenge on Chalusic.
So Verdino sends it toward Amanatidis, headed away by Cameron. Saps would look to flick it on, but only falls to the feet of Rose, and Callahan gave it away to Chulina. And now Harper sends it forward. That one overdoes De Jesus, as Hammond looks to bear down, but De Jesus is back again. Still Hammond. Gets into the air. It does well. Hammond. Shot blocked in the end. Sapsford now. Getting the booze from the FC fans. And Chulina did well to step forward there. But still the ball goes the way of my home team. And in the end, a foul by Quintal. He's Hammond. He's the go-to man going forward. Trying to get past De Jesus. Cuts back. Pass comes back for Hollingdale. Sorry, Fernandez it was. Cleared away. And now Hollingdale. Back for Chulina. Sydney stepping higher here. Forcing Western Sydney all the way back to Tiger Harper. Harper looking for options, finds Sapsford. He's headed out, falls to the feet of Rose. Here's Amanatidis running at Cameron. Gets beyond Cameron, gets into the area. Amanatidis, and he went for goal. And it wasn't far away. Score stays 2-1 to Sydney FC. It was a powerful effort. Just couldn't keep it down enough. Had to be special to beat Harper from that sort of range. And it almost was, in fairness. Bulgaria, nice turn there in midfield. And now Western Sydney looking to go forward via Fernandez. Great ball. They're in the area now. Twists and turns. Divine! Almost finding the equaliser. Great work from Ryan Devine, spraying it just wide of Zavardinos' goal. Of course, this isn't the only game of round six action tonight. Wollongong Wolves currently lead Hills United by two goals to nil down in Wollongong. Good start to the season for David Carney's team. Second place currently. Sapsa plays it forward for Hammond. And De Jesus really has done a fairly good job on him. Too much contact this time, says the referee. Free kick goes the way of the visitors. Can Western Sydney now find an equaliser? Free kicks in a very good position. Tulina has gone forward, as has Donny Grdic. Direct that goal off the bar again. And Sapsford heads it home. And Western Sydney are level... That was some free kick. And just like that, Western Sydney find the level up. It was Hollingdale who hit the bar. That's the third time Western Sydney's hit the bar in this first half. And Zach Sapsford pouncing on the rebound to head it home. Zavardinos couldn't do much. Almost kept it out, but it's 2-2. 38 minutes in. Some first half we've had here at Illington Sports Centre.
Amanatiti is now the outside of the right, but Tiger Harper read it early. Harper drops the ball. Callahan put him under pressure. And he's given it straight away to Sydney, who can now launch a dangerous attack. He's Rose. De Jesus. Strong tackle. Western Sydney come away with possession. Early release for Yunus, who will get to this one. Chalusic trying to slow him down. And Sapsford rides the challenge, and he tried to play it across goal for Yunus. He should have been selfish there. And perhaps taken it on his own. In the end. The cross blocked. Western Sydney have to settle for a corner. It was good defending from Joseph Chalusic. Holding up Eunice. Before the Sydney FC defence got back. Fernandez will deliver this corner into the area. Ball comes in. It's a dangerous ball. Chulina was there, but didn't quite get the connection he wanted. And now Quintal for Sydney goes down. Last touch coming off Fernandez. And Como with the throw. Five minutes to go before half time. Four goals in this Sydney Academy derby. 2 2 at the moment. I'm sure we're in for a few more. Good challenge from Grudic. And Quintal tried to. Place the ball forward for the on rushing Amanatidis and blocked out in the end. Trolosic and Rosen and Como goes down. That was heavy from Yunus. Referee straight to the pocket. Yellow card for Marcus Yunus. Really felt that one, did Meliwethu and Como. Still feeling it. Amanatidis will take this free kick. Instead leaves it for Nkomo. Not sure he wants it. Still feeling the after effects of that challenge. Back for Chalusic. All the way back to Zavardinos. Devine heads it forward toward Hollingsdale. Good little touch over the top for Sapsford. Nudge there from Sapsford. Enough for a foul on Williams. Tyler Williams did well there to put his body in front of Sapsford. And I can tell you that and Koma really is struggling. Noah Matti has gone to warm up for Sydney FC. Hollingdale turns and plays it wide for Jesse Cameron. Cameron drives forward. Now Eunice. Cameron continues his run. Gets it back. Well defended though by Amanatidis. And again. And Como goes down. It was Eunice who made the challenge once more. Needs to be careful now Marcus Eunice on a yellow card. Fernandez driving into the area. Still Fernandez. And wins the corner off Chalusic. <coughs> Marcus Eunice, it was a bit silly there. Got booked not long before and almost finding himself in the referee's notebook in very quick succession. It happened to Western Sydney last week. Hunter Buckmar is getting sent off in a matter of minutes for two yellow cards. Fernandez delivers and the header's there from Eunice. Goal kick, Sydney FC.
FC will take their time here. I think they'll be happy to get into half time with the scores level. It's been a very entertaining first 45 minutes. I'm sure you've been enjoying this one from home. Of course, all MPL men's and women's games broadcast live and free on YouTube. Throwing for Nkomo. Here's Rose. Plays it forward to Amanatiri. Sorry, to Callahan. Now Fernandez looking for options and Rose gets back to close him down. Force him backwards as well. And wins the ball. Cameron comes away with it. Look at the run from Devine. If Cameron can spot it, he does. But I think Devine may have just run offside. Flag stayed down, though. Pinch there. Now, Western Sydney can launch perhaps the final attack of the first half. Zavardino should have this. He does. Ball sent wide. Mo Zavardinos toward Quintal, but good challenge from Hollingdale. He's had a good first half. Two minutes of stoppage time have been added for this first half. Here's Trulusic, Williams now. De Jesus forward for Middleton. Spreads it wide now for Amanatidis. Cameron standing in front of him. Amanatidis still on the ball. Into the area. Ball makes its way to the far post. Chance is there. And Tulina clears away. It was Brazzetti that looked to play the ball across goal. Cleared away in the end by Tulina. Gone short again here, Sydney FC, but Western Sydney ready for it this time. De Jesus, caught in possession by Eunice. It's a challenge on Hollingdale, who manages to ride it, keep the ball in. Numbers forward here for Western Sydney. Sydney FC looking to get them back, and they do. They come away with the ball as well. Good challenge from Fernandez in midfield, but still sky blue ball. That'll be a yellow card for Fernandez. Free kick to Sydney. Last 30 seconds of the first half. Can Sydney create something? Not with the pass like that. Here's Bulgaria. Hammond's making the run. He stayed on side, Hammond, but he pulled back he wasn't quite in the position and Sapsford hasn't given up on this almost wins the throw there's Zach Sapsford should be just about that though for the first half and the halftime whistle goes here at Illinden Sports Centre an exciting first 45 minutes the team's level 2-2 two, two on the scoreboard between Sydney FC and the Western Sydney Wanderers. It was the ideal start for the visitors. They took the lead via Marcus Eunice after Aidan Hammond's shot, which seemed to have crossed the line anyway, came off the bar into the path of Eunice, who headed it home. Only 10 minutes later, though, Thiago Quintal equalised for the home side before an own goal by Donny Grdic after a dangerous ball into the area by Amanatidis. Western Sydney made the scores level once more. Seven minutes before half time, another shot coming off the bar this time via Riley Hollingdale. It was Zachary Sapsford on the spot to head home. Sydney, Western Sydney did have two more very good chances, but Zavardinos in the Sydney FC goal made some fabulous saves. 
at half time here at Illenden Sports Centre. Sydney FC 2, Western Sydney 2.
welcome back to the second half here at Illington Sports Centre. Sydney FC and the Western Sydney Wanderers have put on quite the show after the first 45 minutes. It's 2-2 here. Western Sydney took the lead inside three minutes via Marcus Yunus. Sydney FC then equalised through Thiago Quintal before taking the lead after Nathan Amanatidis' cross was put into his own net by Donny Grdic. Zach Sapsford then pounced on a rebound off the crossbar after a fantastically struck free kick from Riley Hollandau to make it 2-2. Western Sydney perhaps with the better chances in the first half. Aidan Hammond had a shot well saved by Alex Zavardinos in the Sydney FC goal, as did Zach Sapsford. Western Sydney also hit the crossbar three times in the first period. Two of those resulted in goals as the rebound, well, first to the rebound. A very, very exciting first half. A lot of opportunities, some big tackles. And a proper Sydney derby on our hands. Be fantastic to see how many of these players can make the step up eventually and do the real thing in the A-League competition. Here's Bulgaria for Western Sydney. It was a little quiet in the first half. Hollingdale, who struck that free kick. Now Bulgaria again. Plays it forward. Hammond, who was so dangerous. Still Hammond! And this time he finds the back of the net. A fabulous strike from Aidan Hammond. He was excellent in the first half. He's got the goal he deserves. And Western Sydney start the second half much like they started the first with an early goal. And the lead now. 3-2 Western Sydney lead at Illington Sports Centre over Sydney FC. Two minutes into the second half is all it took for Aidan Hammond to put the visitors in front. And some strike it was as well. The goals continue to fall here in this round six clash at Illington Sports Centre. I said at the end of the first half, I'm sure we'll see more. We have already. A very exciting half of football awaits us, no doubt. Here's Callahan. It was a little quiet in the first half. Great challenge there by Cameron. Now Hollingdale looks to come away with it, and Hollingdale goes down. Free kick for Western Sydney. Sapsford now wins a foul. Williams ran into the back of him. Substitution as well at half time for Sydney FC. Right back Zachary De Jesus has been replaced by Noah Matthew. Well defended by Cameron again, but I think that might be a corner. Goal kick, says the referee and his assistant. Perfect way to start the half for Andrew Christensen's team. Harper. It's a poor clearance there by Harper straight to the feet of Joseph Trolusic. Throw in for the home team. And Como to take. Meliwethu and Como. I thought he might be coming off at half time when Matthew was warming up. Suffered a knock after a strong challenge from Marcus Yunus. He seems to have recovered. Here's Callahan now, waiting for the run of Brazette. Still, Brazette turns left, turns right, gets into the area. Great ball across goal. 
and inches away. It was a great opportunity for Sydney to equalise once more. Quintal inches, inches away from that fantastic cross from Brazette. It's a corner now for Sydney FC. Touch coming last off a Western Sydney player. Cross comes in toward Callahan. Free header, but he heads it wide. Should have done better. It was poor defending there by Devine and Tulina. He got in between them, and neither really put themselves in a position to win the ball. Better kick from Harper this time. And Sapsford does very well to hold off the defender, but Devine couldn't take that one in his step forward. Grudic. Poor touch there by Hollingdow, who hasn't done too much wrong. And now the opportunity for Amanatidis closed down by Cameron right in front of the Sydney FC support and he gives the Cove a bit of attitude as well. Very happy with himself there. Good defending from Cameron. They've taken it early again, but Quintal this time gets his bearings all wrong. Goal kick for Western Sydney. Tiger Harper intelligently taking his time over collecting the ball and taking this kick. And under a bit of pressure from those Sydney FC fans behind him. Toward Hammond. Ball falls to the feet of Sapsford, but he couldn't turn. Cleared away by Matthew. His pass and well, clearance finds the feet of Amanatidis. Does extremely well to turn away there, but well defended. His Bulgaria, but he gives it away again. Matthew making the overlapping run. Brazette chose to go his own and gave the ball away. And now great touch there from Sapsford. And Hammond, he's been so dangerous in this sort of position all game. Hammond gets it back onto the right, goes down. Great call from the referee. It was too easy that he went down there. That was almost the perfect ball for Brazette as well. But Devine... Did well to hold him off. Tulina back for Harper. Under pressure from Callahan. Clears it away towards Sapsford. Out muscles Williams and now Sapsford. Plays the ball through for Aiden Hammond. And Hammond across goal. Another opportunity goes begging. Unselfishness from Hammond. Tried to play in Eunice, but again, should have gone on his own. It was a great opportunity for Western Sydney. Hasn't been taken. They did this in the first half as well. Sydney FC made them pay. Will they do it again? Now Bulgaria... Driving forward, Adam Bulgaria. His pass cut out by Rose. <coughs> and Fernandez, who's on a yellow card, fouls Rose there in midfield. Needs to be careful. Marcus Yunus and Marcus Fernandez both on yellows for the visitors. Dylan Rose, the only one in the referee's notebook for Sydney FC. as though Jimmy Van Buren will be heading to the bench soon. Ayuk Mo 
getting readied. So that would be a double substitution, in fact. Not wasting any time. The Sydney FC coach wants to see a change. They've been strong in the second half of most games Sydney FC this season. Although they did start slow here. Something that Western Sydney took full advantage of. Harper sends it high toward Sapsford. And now Devine making the forward run. Eunice is offside though. Flag is raised. His shot was blocked in the end anyway. Most definitely offside. He's asking how. But there's no doubt there he was offside by quite some way as well. All along still lead against Hills United by two goals to nil. Ball forward. Chulina heads away. A win here will lift Western Sydney into second place on the ladder. At least until tomorrow. Wollongong will head to first if they can hold on to their lead. Here's a shot though. It was a tough one and well held there by Tiger Harper. It was Lachlan Middleton who let fly. Harper sends it toward Sapsford. Head on one by Matthew, but it'll fall to the feet of Aiden Hammond. And still Hammond. And he was met by three sky blue jerseys. And now Matthew sends it forward. That's a foul there by Chulina. Clear tug of the jersey of Thiago Quintal. Rose switches the play. Headed away by Cameron. Flicked on there by Hammond. And great turn by Zach Sapsford. A cross goal. But Zavardinos comes out and claims the ball there. And Chulina got away with that one. Here is Devine, under pressure there from Middleton. Had to react quickly. Williams looking for options, spreads it wide for Matthew. It'll be Mud in France and Ayuk Mo to come on for Sydney FC in a moment. Now Manatidis cuts it back for Brazet who has a go and a great save by Tiger Harper. Fingertips there. Enough from the Western Sydney goalkeeper to keep his side ahead. Corner kick to come in from Quintal. Goes in toward the far post. Still alive for the home side. And Como spreads it wide now. It'll come back again. Western Sydney got numbers and Jesse Cameron steps up strong again. Eunice goes down. Free kick. Perhaps a yellow card as well for Cholosic. I think you might get away with that though. Here come those changes. Ayukmo will come on for Callahan. Callahan. 
And Jacob Brazette will exit for Muddy in France. And the two changes that Jimmy Van Weeren will make. Hope his side can get back into the game. Como heads away. Eunice will shield that out. Those two have had some battle. Throw taken along towards Sapsford. Falls for Bulgaria, but his shot's blocked by Mo. Mo flicks it out wide for the other substitute, France. And now making the forward run is Maffey. The ball was there for France, but instead, Matthew played it toward Mo, who just wasn't in the right position to receive that. Zavardinos thought about coming. Eunice almost taking advantage of some confusion between Encomo and Zavardinos. Great feet there. Options in the middle. Amanatidis, one of those, but he just couldn't bring it down. And now Hollingdale goes down. And for a moment there, Martin Franz thought he was in until he heard the referee's whistle. Ball sent toward Hammond. Matthew will need to deal with this. Hammond takes advantage and another great save. Falls for Sapsford. Cause of handball, referee doesn't pay it. And now Ryan Devine fouls Ayuk Mo. Andrew Christensen wanted the penalty. What a chance for Western Sydney. Had a one by Tulina. Mo gets in there. Falls the way of Western Sydney though. And a foul there on Hammond. Tulina taking his time over this free kick. Still a long way to go in this one. Just under half an hour to play. Lots of time for Sydney to get back in this one. In particular, after Western Sydney have really missed the opportunity to add to the scoreline. Some golden opportunities have come and gone. Sydney just look a little shaky at the back. That one goes well over the bar. Not troubling Zavardinos with that effort. Rose. Strong challenge there, but Sydney keep the ball. And Como. Jesse Cameron's been fantastic at right back for Western Sydney. Here is Sapsford. Under a bit of pressure. Gives it away. Williams moves forward with it. Almost gives his pass away as well. A little scrappy at the moment from both teams. As in Como... Sends it over the sideline. Took a deflection. It'll be a Sydney throw. Christensen speaking to his assistant, Richie Cardozo. 
contemplating what substitutions to make next. Ball there from Cholusic is a very good one. Now Mo running at Divine Ayuk Mo came across was Hollingdale. No foul, says the referee. Ben Weiren not happy. And dealt with by Cholusic. Gritic wins the header. Fernandez clips it forward. Tough one to bring down and control. Foul on Hollingdale. Hope to take it quickly was Bulgaria. in front of Hammond well done there by Mo ball switched now intended target was France but Cameron was there again goes the way of Sydney. Williams under a bit of pressure from Stafford. Couldn't find the pass. Mo comes in to help out. Now they got the ball through Quintal here, Sydney. Square pass there for Middleton. Manatidis plays it wide for Nkomo. Nkomo one-on-one -on -one with Cameron. Kept alive by France to the far post. Mo got up high and Quintal just couldn't. The ball just wouldn't fall for him in the end. Goal kick now for Western Sydney. Taken by Chulina again. We've seen this one almost on every occasion from Western Sydney. Short pass by Chulina to Harper, who then sends it long. And now Amanatid is putting Chulina under pressure, but he was offside when the ball was played. Harper sends it long. Hammond used his body well and trying to get away from Matthew now. It looks as though he has, but he's turned back again. Sapsford puts it up for Fernandez, who juggled his way into the area. The Sydney defence reacted well. Amanatidis dropped a bit of a knock there from Chulina. Hollingdale's pass cut out by his own player, but still Western Sydney have possession. Hollingdale's got a good right foot as well. We saw that not long ago in the first half when he set up the equaliser after that fabulously hit free kick. Came back off the bar and uh, Zach Sapsford headed home. Here's Amanatidis asking for France to move forward. Mo wants it. He gets it. Great turn from Ayukmo. Still Ayukmo. But he got confused there at the last moment. Looked for the pass. It was the wrong pass as well. In the end, dangerous attack for Sydney. Comes to nothing. They won't be too worried though.
because they lead by three goals to two. Headed on, Hammond closes down. Yunus trying to get in and around, and Como under pressure now. Zavardinas, but does very well to find Mo as well. Trulina does just enough to clear that one away. Middleton trying to dance his way through Quintal as well into the area well defended by Chulina. Down the south coast, Wollongong Wolves still lead against Hills United by two goals to nil. And Quintal with the foul on Hollingdale. Christensen just telling Devine to slow it down. No need to rush the free kick. They are winning. Game management should be a little better. Here's Williams. Sends it forward. Hammond intercepts that pass. The run from Eunice is there. The ball from Hammond is fantastic. And Eunice really threw that one away. It should be 4-2 and just about game over. Another missed opportunity for the visitors. There's been so many in this second half. You just feel as though Sydney will get a chance and perhaps take it and punish Western Sydney for all their missed opportunities. Hammond has been really on form tonight. But Eunice now, can he redeem himself? Marcus Eunice! The ball does not cross the line. In fact, it does. Almost saved by Zavardinos, who's been colossal in the goal for Sydney FC. But Matthew just couldn't clear it in time. It crossed the line. And Marcus Yunus, who moments earlier missed a golden opportunity to make it 4-2, now does. And Western Sydney... Lead 4-2 here at Illinden Sports Centre and are on their way to a massive three points in the Sydney Derby. Too much space afforded by the Sydney FC defence on a few occasions now. Western Sydney didn't take their opportunities all up until now. And it's 4-2. And they are well in control here. Devine to take the throw. Still no changes for Christensen's side. Did have the bench up not long ago. Going through a few movements, stretching the legs, but still. Hasn't seen the need for a substitution. Just trying to get tricky there. Flag's being raised. Rose sends it early toward Mo, but that's a wasted pass from Dylan Rose. Hollingdale plays it out. Aiden Hammond has been probably the star of the show for Western Sydney this evening. 
Here's Sapsford now, putting the afterburners on. Cross goal. Bulgaria was trying to get there. Sapsford stayed down. Here's Quintal. Great turn from Quintal. Sprays it wide for Ayuk Mo. Now Mo one on one with Devine. And Chulina under pressure. Goes down, wins the free kick. In a bit of trouble there for a moment. It looked like Chulina was, but he recovered well. As both Sydney and Western Sydney will make changes now. Samuel Lancaster will come on. And Dylan Rose exits the field of play. Harper has really managed the game well to the frustration of the Cove and the Sydney FC fans. Slowing it down in important parts. Which obviously breaks up the game, slows the flow of the opposition. Philip Gigliotti will be the one to come on for the Western Sydney Wanderers. For the final, well, just less than 15 minutes. I'm sure we'll have a couple minutes of injury time as well added on. Clip forward by Fernandez towards Sapsford. Fernandez plays it forward again for Sapsford, who stays on side. Ball back across goal. No one was arriving there late from Western Sydney. Now Hollingsdale. Cameron plays it back to his central midfielder. And Hammond a little too tricky for himself, but Bulgaria comes away with it. Referee didn't play any advantage there. Well, didn't see the advantage for Western Sydney, I should say. So he brings it back for a free kick here. We've seen Eunice and Hollingdale hit two very well-struck set pieces in the first half. Western Sydney scoring from Hollingdale's after he hit the crossbar. Not interested in this one, young Marcus Eunice. It looks as though it'll be Hollingdale. Can he... Find the target this time rather than the crossbar. Last one was struck so cleanly. Again, into the top corner. And he just turns away and walks away. Riley Hollingdale with an absolute beauty of a strike into the top corner to extend the lead here for Western Sydney to five goals to two. It was a well-struck free kick, and if the first one in the first half was struck cleanly and well, well, this one was even better. Alex Zavardinos did not even move in the Sydney FC goal. Some strike from Hollingdale. As Western Sydney go to the bench for the first time this evening, it'll be a double change. Awan Luau and Philip Gigliotti... Both coming on, replacing Marcus Eunice and Zach Sapsford. Eunice with the double this evening, Sapsford with one. Unsure what happened there, the referee's whistle has blown. Ball may have hit the official. Us bringing it back. All along have also extended the lead. They are now 3 0 to the good. Cameron getting into it a little bit on the far end with 
Marine France. Harper under pressure from Quintal. Sends it toward Luwal, but header one by Chalusic. And Como. Given away by Sydney. Chulina. Under pressure from Quintal. Back to Harper. It was almost closed down there. By Quintal, Gigliotti with a nice little flick. Read by Sydney FC. Foul there by Cameron. Goes the way of Sydney FC. Inside the last 10 minutes now here at Illington Sports Centre and Again, Western Sydney, two weeks in a row, looked to put on a convincing scoreline. It was 4-1 last week against Spirit, 5-2 so far, and they're still hungry for more. As Andrew Christensen looks to make further changes. And Fernandez dances through, plays in Luwal. Luwal's onside, still Luwal, look to lift it over. Zaverdinos, but again, the Sydney keeper saves well. And it has to be said, had it not been for Alex Zaverdinos, well, Western Sydney could have easily scored another couple goals as Anthony Barbic prepares to come on for Western Sydney. Marcus Fernandez. Maybe the one to come off. Receiving attention. <coughs> nice little move from Fernandez moments earlier where he evaded a couple defenders before slipping the ball through for a while. Jared Middleton being caught over by the Sydney FC coaching staff. Preparing to come on now. That is Fernandez. That'll come off. Good game by Fernandez. And Anthony Barbic comes on. Joseph Chalusic coming off for Sydney FC. Placed, as we just mentioned, Jared Middleton. Barbic slotting into that role vacated by Fernandez in midfield as Luwal does very well to hold off a defender. And he allowed Matthew to get back and win the ball off him again. Harper comes and gets this one. With the Sydney FC players running toward him, just decided to release Barbic. Now Cameron Gigliotti. Grdic, all the way back to Harper. Great ball from Harper toward Hammond. Under pressure, they can't bring that one down. Heavy pass there by Lancaster. Just evading Amanatidis. Has moved more central since France came on. Grdic and Quintal getting into a bit of a Push about. A 
Hammond's pass. Will he get there, Aiden Hammond? Not enough pace to get onto that one, but had he got there? Did look as though he was off. And Devine heads that one away. Good touch there by Lancaster. Spread wide by Jared Middleton. Here's Mo, edge of the area, taking on Devine, but his effort lacks power. And direction comfortably held by Tiger Harper. Chulina sends this one toward Lawal. Well defended by Williams. Now Mo again. Surely any goal now for Sydney would just be a consolation. Mo drives forward. Amanatidis on the turn, wins the corner as Ryan Devine stays down. Anthony Panthersopoulos would be the likely substitution should Devine not be able to continue. I said two games going on this evening. This one along with the Wollongong Wolves and Hills United. It's the home team there. The Wolves that lead by three goals to nil. And the action continues tomorrow in the MPL Men's New South Wales competition. Sutherland Sharks host the Marconi Stallions. Central Coast Mariners take on Manly United. Spirit FC welcome St. George City to Christie Park. St. George We'll be back here at Ealingdon Sports Centre tomorrow where they host Sydney United on Sunday. Rockdale take on Blacktown City also here at Ealingdon Sports Centre. So a week full, weekend full of action at the NPL here. Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And the final game of the round takes us to Leichhardt Oval as RPR Leichhardt hosts Sydney Olympic. Also, Western Sydney will be in action midweek. They travel to Plume Park to take on Central Coast Mariners in their round four catch-up. Cross comes in here. Good ball into the area. Falls for Nkomo. And Nkomo loses out to Gigliotti. Still has possession, though. Takes the quick throw. And that's a wasted opportunity for Sydney to get themselves on the scoreboard again. And Chulina back for Harper again. Lua looks to head it on for Hammond. Great little turn by Hammond, but challenge made. He loses the ball. Gritic under pressure. Try to head it back to Harper, but it's gone down now. Gritic holding his head in front of the cove. Copying a few words as well from the Sydney FC fans who aren't happy with Gridditch going down. It's 4-0 now. Wollongong Wolves lead. Hills United, a convincing win there as well for David Carney's team. Gridditch recovers to send that one long. into the final few seconds of normal time. The fourth official prepares to put the board up to let us know how much more time will be played in this second period. It's fair to say that 
the points are safe now for Western Sydney. Four minutes of time added on. Middleton's shot blocked there. It was a powerful effort. That one will roll out for a goal kick as Gilditz ends up right in front of the Sydney FC fans. Harper taking his time over this goal kick. Soaking it up is Tiger Harper. Sends this one well over halfway. Gigliotti fills it on, heads it on, sorry, for Hammond, but it's cut out as does the substitute Rashawn Tafunai. He came on for Devine. After the left back went down. We won't see Pantazopoulos more than likely this evening. Foul goes the way of Sydney. Here's Williams. Lancaster. Quintal. Closed down by Chulina. Who, aside from that error early on for the Sydney FC goal, has really recovered well. He's had a decent game, done everything required of him. Here's Williams. Delivery toward Amanatidis. Quintal, nice little touch. Still Quintal. Back for Amanatidis. Amanatidis off the post. And the rebound there sent into the side netting by Quintal. But it was Tiger Harper that made the save and tapped the ball onto the post. It'll remain 5-2. Amanatidis perhaps really should have Got one back for Sydney. He wouldn't have meant for much, but still should have scored there. Can't take anything away from Harper's save, though. It was well struck. Harper putting out a strong hand to tip the ball onto the post. Harper again sends it long while battling away with Lancaster. Tafunai plays it forward. Bulgaria forward for Hammond. Now Lawal, but the flag's raised. And Lawal's finish won't count for much. Final minutes of the time added on. Matthew spreads it wide for Nkomo. And that pass there really sums up Sydney's evening here at Illidan Sports Centre. Straight out for a throw in. And Western Sydney. Well, they're on their way to record their fourth win of the season. Send them to 12 points. And a victory midweek over the Mariners. Well, it'll put them on top of the table. As the referee brings this one to an end. A convincing win by the visiting Western Sydney Wanderers over Sydney FC in the end. Five goals to two. Andrew Christensen's team walking away deserved winners. They open the scoring after only three minutes via Marcus Yunus. They are pinged back by Thiago Quintal ten minutes later before a Donny Gridichan goal put Sydney in the box seat moving into the break. It wasn't until Zach Sapsford's late first half equaliser that the teams had to settle for a 2-2 scoreline after the first 45 minutes. In the second half, though, it was all one-way traffic. 
Western Sydney, clear and deserved winners. Aidan Hammond and Marcus Eunice both scoring before Riley Hollingdale hit a spectacular free kick to make it 5-2. If it wasn't for Alex Zavardinos, the score could have been much worse on Sydney FC. Goalkeeper stepping in for Pavlicic made some fabulous saves. Uh, kept his team in the game. In the end, though, his heroics weren't enough as Western Sydney walk away from Illindon Sports Centre. Clear and comfortable winners. Be sure to tune in to the MPL YouTube page as the action continues this week. Games through Saturday and Sunday. Brought to you live and free on YouTube. But for now, from Illington Sports Centre, it's good night. Sydney FC 2, Western Sydney Wanderers 5.